SpaceX is set to make some history today. It's launching the company's first ever crewed space flight from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Yahoo Finance is Inez Frey is here to break it all down. Inez, I know you're a big space fan. I am, Brian, and it's, this is just so exciting because this is exciting for the U.S. It's the first launch of astronauts to the ISS from U.S. soil in nine years. The U.S. doesn't now have to keep paying Russians to send astronauts on Russia's capsule. And this is also so exciting for SpaceX because it's a huge endeavor for them to be able to use a Crew Dragon capsule to take astronauts to the ISS. It also just gives you kind of a glimpse of of the appetite really from people for this kind of space exploration and, and going and, and in the future investor appetite for spa human space flights. Hey, and, and SpaceX signed a, a $2.6 billion contract with NASA to complete six missions. Uh, at the same time, NASA also inked a similar deal with Boeing for $4.2 billion. So what is today's launch uh, hopefully it does happen. I know the weather is a little iffy, but what does today's launch mean for the two companies in this space race? Well, it's interesting because for Boeing, this ups the ante for them for sure, because uh, they had their Starliner, which it didn't go into the correct orbit in, back in December. So it wasn't able to dock to the ISS. Uh, Boeing has to retest its Starliner before it can put humans on it. So SpaceX has reached first and definitely watchers of all of this also look at the fact that NASA paid Boeing about $2 billion more to essentially do the same thing as SpaceX and SpaceX got here quicker. Uh, of course, the future endeavors are for it to go to the moon, to then go to Mars, but this also kind of gives you an idea of the marriage between government and the private space industry. So this is one of those big first steps. NASA contracted these companies to do this and as as we go forward into more space missions, into more explorations, you can expect to see this sort of marriage between the two. And also, it's worthy to note that during a downturn, too, uh, governments spend on space exploration, so it can hurt, cer certainly help companies. And as it's Heidi, um, just a quick question. So from what I understand, there's a possibility that this mission could potentially not happen today. Um, what is that contingent upon? And if it doesn't happen, is there another date that it could potentially um, occur? Yeah, there are uh, some backup dates, May 30th, May 31st. The mission is supposed to happen at 4.33 p.m. today. It's, of course, weather permitting. We've seen uh, these uh, kinds of missions in the past uh, be postponed a lot of times. I mean, this is all, so much of this is, is weather contingent. And of course, there's a, a lot of uh, calculations that go into these launches. So if it doesn't happen today and it's not looking too great, but we'll see, we still have several hours to go. Uh, if it doesn't happen today, then you can expect to see it at, in, in, on May 30th or May 31st at the end of May. Inez, how is it this uh, a big, how is an Elon Musk distracted by all this? How does one person pull all of these innovations off at once? Well, speaking to some of the alumni from Penn, he had a double major at Penn, by the way, physics and also, so he, he, he also had physics as a major uh, along with whether it be economics or Wharton, but in any case, the, he, he, uh, he certainly has an extra chip on it in him. And this is part of, you know, Elon Musk started this company 18 years ago. Uh, and it's a company that not only just focus, not only focuses on uh, the Crew Dragon and and trying and doing these missions to the ISS to to the moon uh, and to go, wanting to go to Mars, but it makes its money also on satellites. So it's been in the satellite business for a long time. Uh, there is also some talk about perhaps. Uh, SpaceX wanting to spin off that satellite uh, business in the future and go IPO with that. But certainly, I mean, this is his baby. Elon Musk, is he tweets about not just Tesla, but also space. It's what he loves. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.